Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. I'm missing part of my brain today, I think. I did, let's see, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. And then I came much later and did Jasher. And I thought I did Mark, so I checked myself. Because, you know, I'm getting up in age. <laughs> and I didn't do Mark, so my apologies, all of you who are following along with this great book of Mark. Let us continue. In the New Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, and we are in chapter 9. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here, which shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. Except, let's see, mm, where am I? I'm looking for my references. Uh, till they have seen the kingdom of God having come with power. And after six days, Jesus taketh with him Peter and James and John and leadeth them up into a high mountain apart by themselves. And he transfigured before them and his raiment became shining, exceeding white as snow. So as no fuller on earth can white them. And there appeared unto them Elias with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And Peter answered and said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias. Peter, <laughs> for he wist not what to say, for they were sore afraid. Could you imagine standing there with them? And, and seeing Jesus transfigured, and then Moses and Elias come down from heaven. I probably said something <laughs> dumb too, <laughs> but bless his heart. <laughs> he was, he, he couldn't think straight, and I don't know that I could have either. And there was a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. That was God, the Father, talking. Can you hear him? Mm, we're getting close, guys. Please pay attention to all the words of God. You know, I'm reading as many books as I can, and we need to persevere, and we need to stay in his word so that we'll be strong in the word because that is our sword, our weapon against the devil. So please... Let us continue. And suddenly, when they had looked around about, they saw no man any more, save Jesus only, except Jesus only, with themselves. And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen, till the Son of Man were risen from the dead. And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one and with another, what the rising from the dead should mean, what did it what it meant. And they asked him, saying, Why saith the scribes that Elias must come first? And he answered and told them, Elias verily, verily cometh first, and restoreth all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things, and be set at naught, or treated with contempt. But I say unto you, that Elias is indeed come, and they have done unto him whatsoever they listed or wished, as it is written of him. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioning them or disputing with them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed, and running to him, saluted him or greeted him. And he asked the scribes, 
What question ye with them? He's like, what are you talking about? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, or teacher, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit, or mute spirit. And where wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth and gnashes with his teeth, and pineth away, becomes rigid. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him, and saith, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child, and oft time he has cast him into the fire, and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people were running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but prayer and fasting. And they departed thence and passed through Galilee, and he would not that any man should know it. For he taught his disciples and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. But they understood not, but they understood not that saying, and were afraid to ask him. And he came to Capernaum, and being in the house, he asked them, What was it that ye disputed among yourselves by the way, or on your way here, on the road? But they held their peace, for by the way they had disputed among themselves who should be the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and saith unto them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all, and servant of all. And he took a child, and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me, receiveth not me, but him that sent me. And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and he followed not us. So, And we forbid him, because he followeth not us. But Jesus said, Forbid him not. For there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. For that he is not against us in our part or in our... Let's see, hold on one second. In our... In our part, in our side. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, excuse me, forgive me. Verse 42, And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, 
and he was cast into the sea. And if thy hand offend thee, or makes you sin, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that shall never be quenched, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that shall never be quenched, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Where, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. For every one shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost its saltiness, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves, and have peace one with another. Now here we notice that starting in chapter 44 and then in 46 and then again in 48 this saying their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched when you hear something that God the Father says or Jesus Christ says three times that is for emphasis that's important very important so, okay, their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. That would be the lake of fire and brimstone, and nobody wants to go there. And as always, not even Satan, I love you.